72 and 82 degrees, but are healthiest and at their most active in warmer temperatures between 77 and 80 degrees. So you may or may not need a heater for your tank. These fish originally come from soft acidic waters, but can typically handle slightly harder water conditions with a pH of between 6 and 7.5. The dwarf piranha will do best in a heavily planted aquarium with driftwood or rocks, low lighting, along with low flow filtration, and they do fantastic in black water tanks. Now, while dwarf piranhas are considered to be relatively peaceful, the males typically don't really get along with each other. So if you are a beginner to the hobby, it's recommended not to keep more than one male per tank. For those who are more experienced in the hobby and have large, heavily planted aquariums, you will want to consider the male-to-female ratio if keeping more than one male. Shoals do best if there is a ratio of one male to three females kept to help keep the males from fighting. If you are wanting to keep a community tank with your dwarf piranhas, then you will want to make sure to keep them with smaller, very peaceful species of fish. Some examples being neon tetras, harlequin rathboras, zebra danios, corydoras, or autosynclus. Larger, faster fish or fish that are known as notorious fin nippers should be avoided as these could stress your piranha out. Now, when it comes to diet, dwarf piranhas are not typically picky eaters and they are considered to be omnivores. So they do best on a very 